Hey everyone, it's Grant from Spectre Racing. So once every couple months, the Florida National Rally Motorsports Park hosts a European-style rally. It's possibly the best motorsports event there is. So today we're going around in our 2003 Mark IV GTI. It's the 1.8 liter turbo. It's got a cold air intake, exhaust, coney yellows, ground control camera plates. It's sort of fully gutted. It's got a roll bar. It's running 245 Falcon RT-16 street tires. Uh, this is set up for the street. It's our track car. Uh, make sure to check out the video of the history of the car. and it's, it's a pretty somber, neat story. So, is this a good rally car? The simple answer is yes. Though any car you're really willing, willing to risk in rally is a great rally car. In this case, our sprite little hatchback does a fantastic job off-road. Our big competition was the usual fare of super side-by-sides and big trucks. We absolutely crushed it placing third and sixth in our competitive, very competitive class. And yeah, you heard that. We co-drove this car, so it did eight total laps, eight jumps, and eight attempts through the water-filled barrels uh, without hitting them. You can see in the laps here that the event was split into two laps, and you come in with about half and half split uh, on and off-road. So in this case, the on-road section was more at more of an advantage than the off-road section was to so the real, you know, quote-unquote real rally cars. You can see we had to take the ramp a bit of an angle as to land the car a bit gentler and we obviously couldn't send it, which took uh, a lot of self-control on my part not to just fly over the ramp. I had my co-driver in, in the car the first couple of runs just to yell at me. <laughs> as far as controlling the car off-road with street tires, it definitely takes some pra uh, proactive driving. You can see in the sections we actually zip tied off the e brake so we could slide it around corners. Uh, it didn't always work that great. I was trying to pretend that you know I was Colin McRae. Other section required planning out where to just position the car and you know kind of let the dirt slide you into the correct position on track. Uh, it just didn't always work, so it requires more seat time to get uh, get that down perfectly. The obvious downside to this car, at least, is the lack of LSD and the off road tuned suspension. Though in our case here, it didn't hold us back much. All right, so the next couple of questions are, well, did we break anything from this event? The answer is no. Uh, the last rally event, if you've seen the other video we did about two years ago when we rallied the car when we first got it, uh, it had a less aggressive suspension on it at that time. Uh, we didn't actually break anything. We did DB to tire. We had narrower tires on at the time. This time it didn't seem to be an issue. So as far as we know, it didn't really break anything. Uh, the car's still running great. So the next question is, what kind of prep did we do uh, for this event? And for the most part, the answer is nothing. Uh, you know, made sure the car is in good working order, no leaks, all those kinds of things. Um, in this case, there were no water concerns or anything, so we didn't box off the air box or anything. We probably will have to clean that afterwards. Probably full of sand. Uh, the other thing we did is we did use a set of pre-bent wheels. We put those up front. Those were bent from pretty much jumping curbs and stuff. Regular track abuse uh, for a track car like this. Alright, so we're coming to the end of this lap here. If you enjoy this type of video, let us know. It's a little bit easier for us to do kind of the commentary after the fact, uh, as it's just usually Ash or I filming these videos, and we really don't have time to the events. Alright, want to make a big shout out to Moondragon for letting us use this awesome synthwave music and to Tan Wen Zhao and Flying Bullock Media for their awesome footage. That's it. Thanks for watching.